Welcome to the uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, concerning SSD drives, I've got a few questions from some of the viewers. After we talked about it this week, after I talked about how my um, SSD drive that I installed, I purchased one for the uh, gaming laptop and on my mechanical hard drive died. And of course, there's the debate going on. A lot of people think it's the other way around, but it isn't. SSD drives are a lot more reliable than magnetic hard drive. Now, there's an interesting, um, there's something, a comment that I uh, saw that is interesting about it. Um, somebody was mentioning that he noticed that when mechanical hard drives last more than three years, uh, usually they last very long, very long time. And uh, it, yeah, there's there's that, that's a possibility. Um, one of the things that I remember seeing as a, in a chart is that the uh, the rate of failure of um, mechanical hard drive was quite high within the first three years and kind of leveled off after that. Now, that means they would still fail after a certain amount of time, but the ones that are tougher um, te technically could last longer. There's a lot of things also that have to do with um, uh, with uh, heat, and we're going to talk about it because it's a thing that I like talking from time to time to keep your computer running smoothly and, and last longer. Um, the question also that I was asked is about what did I purchase as an SSD, and this is what I purchased, the 980 Pro from Samsung. It's it's a well-known, um, you know, good SSD, fast, reliable and uh, has the latest technology of uh, PCI Express 4 NVMe uh, M.2. So this is what I purchased uh, because I knew it was a good product. Now, there's other brands out there that are very good. I think, you know, do your homework, search on the web for some of the best SSDs. Um, if you get this one, the Samsung 980 Pro, you're not going wrong, but there are other models out there. Prices has really, really gone down also on these uh, drives now. So it's pretty cool. Um, once again, there's always that, you know, well, you know, the writes, the read writes and all of that. Well, you know, we know that an SSD over time will actually have um, some of its uh, cells um, degrade when they reach a million writes. And, of course, the base... The debate goes on about, you know, well, you know, you can wear out your SSD. Technically, you'll never wear out your SSD. Never, 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 never. Uh, it hasn't happened. And even if, you know, there was a talk about, well, if you don't have enough RAM, so the SSD is used all the time, uh, it's going to wear out. Nope. Because even if you don't have enough RAM and it uses more of your hard drive, uh, it's still not going to write enough for wearing out before you're going to change your PC before you wear out your SSD. It is such a big myth that people still believe that you will eventually wear out your SSD, that, that there's actually people out there that, you know, do little, very little thing with their PCs because they don't want to write too much on the SSD. Stop doing that. Write as much as you want and do what you want. It ain't true that you're going to wear it out. Um, and today, the new ones are even tougher than the ones before. And so, you know, uh, it's, its performance and its um, lifespan will be great. You don't need to go crazy over, um, you know, making sure that you don't use it a lot because it's going to wear out. It's not going to wear out. Uh, once again, this is a big myth that too many people believe. Um and, uh, well, you know what, uh, and I still have a few people that, you know, oh, well, I don't need an SSD on my computer. Yes, you do. You would not. You have no idea the differences of uh, speed that um, you will achieve getting a solid-state drive to replace a mechanical hard drive. Even in old machines where there's no um, NVMe M.2 uh, slots, PCI Express slots for the specific drives that you see here, there are SATA drives that actually go and replace the hard drive you have. And these, even though they use the old SATA technology from your mechanical hard drive, are still tons faster because a lot of the performance hit 
has to do with the drive itself, which does not achieve very often the speeds that the SATA port can actually give you. So even that is going to speed up your PC, and there's a lot of people here that have done that, and I've seen a huge difference in the performance of their computers. So that's pretty much what I wanted to say and to answer some of the questions that everybody was asking about what I chose as an SSD. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.